Hey, it's Brian, and this is num video number 10 in our series on installing and launching a WordPress website that's optimized for visitors as well as the search engine. And in this video, we're going to talk about using the sidebar. So let's go ahead and let's log in to the dashboard of our site. You can see it's coming along fine. I've added some post content. We'll be talking about how to add content, how to create great content that ranks for the search engine, and how to manage that content in an upcoming video. But for now, we're going to talk about, as I mentioned, the sidebar. So let's go ahead and access Appearance and then uh, Widgets. And you'll see we come to the sidebar page. Now, I want to draw your attention. We have a couple different uh, sidebar widgets here. And the way the sidebar works is you basically drag and drop widgets from uh, the available widget section to the sidebars you want to control. Now, the sidebar is found right here. You can see in this area, uh, the widgets that we've already installed are right here. So if you remember in an earlier video, I had you download the Gravatar widget, which uh, incorporates and pulls in an image that you've uploaded to Gravatar.com. And I've configured that here. Now I made my sidebar content area, I should say, a little bit thinner. And I pushed over the content to have more room for my video. We're going to talk about adding video and why you want to do it and how it can really help to boost your search engine rankings in an upcoming video as well. But for now, let's configure and play around with the sidebar. So here we are, we're in widgets and we can see right here, here's the Gravatar widget. Now notice I have got the alignment set to the left. Let's see what that looks like. Well, what it looks like is right here. The text I've added in is pushed over to the uh, or the image is pushed over to the left and the text is located to the right. Now that looked fairly okay prior before I reduced the amount of space available in the widget sidebar. Let's go ahead and remove this um, alignment to uh, null. So we're going to go ahead and, and select none and then I'm going to update again and you can see basically what we're doing here is we're um, configuring the sidebar to work as we see fit. So anytime you pull in a widget, all you need to do is to grab it and drop it. Now, I'm not going to advise you to use archives. I'll explain what I think you should use in a bit. But for right now, we're just trying to get a nice look and feel for the sidebar. OK. And I'm on Marketing Easy Street. <laughs> let's go back here. Here we go. Now let's refresh this page and let's see what it looks like now with no, there we go. So there's no alignment. And I wonder if I can get, use maybe a bigger um, image there. So I'm gonna come back here, I'm gonna open this up and I'm just trying to figure out what looks best, right? Let's use extra lar large now. That might be too large, but we can always change it back. And the idea is to optimize for our visitors. Uh, that's way too big, and it's actually um, kind of messing with the image. Let's go back to large. Alignment is going to be in the center. And I think, let's see how that pans out now. Let's see if the text is still below. Yeah, that's great. So I wonder if we can center this text here. Let's see what happens if we put in this tag. Center, and this is basically an HTML tag. And let's see if the tag shows up. It might show up. Okay.
It doesn't look like we can center this text, and that's fine. It looks good. Brian G. Johnson here. I'd like to invite you to join my wife and my wife Amanda and I as we build our dream home in Colorado Springs. All right, so that's our first widget that I've incorporated here. And let's go back here and let's do a little bit more work. So here you can see I've got Optimize Press Recent Post Tabs. Now there are a number of custom widgets available and you can get additional widgets by searching and just pulling widgets in or plugins through WordPress. Um, I want to mention a little bit about optimization and SEO and I'm going to do that in an upcoming video and I'm going to talk a little bit about why you don't want to use a widget like archives and categories at the same time. That's based on duplicate content and that's coming up in um, video number 11 right after this so that'll be coming up next. So what I have basically is Gravatar, recent posts, and categories. I don't think I really need to add anything else in right now. Later, I might want to add in like advertising, and you can see here there's a nice advertising bar that uh, Optimized Press makes advantage or uh, makes available to users. But for now, I just want to launch a great site, and I'm worried more about my site visitors than trying to earn earn money. And one thing I'll mention before we move on is, you know, with a brand new site, there's not going to be a lot of traffic, most likely. Uh, anyway, so why try to incorporate advertising when it's not really what visitors want and you don't have any uh, traffic to make money from that advertising anyway. So you can see here, this is what the sidebar looks like. Again, Gravatar widget right here. This is the WordPress recent post, favorite post, um, and recent comments uh, plugin. And then I've got categories. So I've added the categories. If I click on that, it takes me to the category pages. Now I've only got one post in this website because I'm just launching it. And like I said, in the next video, video 11, I'm going to go over some ways in which you can optimize your content for the search engines. And I'm going to give you some basic best practices to follow. I'll see you then, guys.